Hello everyone. Welcome on tutorial number six, a course on VBA Excel programming. Uh, we in tutorial number five talked about range objects in which primarily we worked on an exercise called cells property. So today we will continuing on offset property. But most important thing is if you are new to this course, I request you please watch tutorial number one to tutorial number five. It is they are very small tutorials, but are we are in the process of making a fundamental concepts toward a long interesting journey of programming. I assure you if you have never done any programming, you will be able to do programming because I tell you I was a mechanical engineering student and I had taught so many people programming like C++, C programming, even to my seniors. My programming learning has been like from class 6 to 10 GW basic, 11, 12 C++, first year C, then again C++ in second year of engineering and then I used to do Excel BBA programming. So all programming are similar and smart thing of Excel programming is that you see everything in front of your Excel data. So it's very easy to learn and if you can learn this programming you will be able to do all programming. So I request you make sure to watch tutorial number 1 to 5 also and then be with me together in the journey. I will make sure that you start enjoying the programming. My mantra is computer is a brainless machine and we have brains. So what instructions we give computer will follow that. So it is about giving right instructions to the computer in an algorithm form. Let's start. We have read in tutorial number three, which I am getting revising again, that in Excel, BBA is an object oriented programming and there are some steps in referring or accessing properties and methods. Fine, which we have done in the tutorial number three. First point is use brackets to refer member object. It means that we have to refer a member object from collections. So worksheets is a collection and sheet one is a member of that collection. Fine. Collection has S in it most probably. Then second point is use dot to refer to child object or object properties and methods. Fine. Like range a1 dot value is equals to 25. Then you have passing argument. You have two methods. You use colon is equals to or you can use a space. We will learn both the things whenever we're doing it. So let's move ahead. I believe you have done the exercise cell property of range objects, which we have done. Now I will talk to you, take you towards offset property. So offset property is like object dot offset, row offset, column offset. It means that we will be doing some offset in rows and offset in columns regard to the parent object. Active cell dot offset 1 comma 0 dot value equals to 12. Active cell dot offset minus 1 comma 0 dot value equals to 35. Which means first we have to use row comma column. Remember it is rough copy. Row comma column. Never forget. Just remember the word called rough copy. When I was in 8th standard I just learned like this only rough copy. So first it is row and then it is a column. We have done everything on the cell, cells property. Now we will do the same thing in our offset property. So let's open our Excel. So let's try to understand first how it works. See, what I want to tell is, suppose D1 is my reference object my parent object. D1 is my parent object. So I will just make it feel like a yellow. So this is a D1 cell. Fine. So now if I say I moved one cell right, which means I have done offset to one column. I am in same row. Row is row number one only. Fine. This is my row, row number one. So from D1 to E1 when I have moved, I have offset one column. Fine. Okay. 
but there is no offset in rows. So we can say zero offset in row, comma one offset in column. Fine. If we want to do F2, F1, it will be again zero offset in rows and two columns in offset. G will be how much? Zero comma three. So this means. So this will be four and this will be five. So if I want to write into I1 with the help of D1, it will be five. So let's start. So my objective is I write the program to write something in this I1 with the help of D1. Let's start. Again, I am telling you go into developers tab. Go into Visual Basic. Insert module. Fine. Now we are in module one. So now we always write first of all the name of the program. So I say S U B sub. Sub is the name of sub routine. Then I say offset underscore example. Offset underscore example. And I will press enter. Brackets will come automatically. Here comes the bracket. So this is the line where I have to write the code. So I said. That I want to write R A N G E range bracket open inverted commas D one inverted commas close dot. Now I have to write offset. Fine. Offset in rows I have to do zero offset. In column I do four offset. Suppose. So now it becomes another range. Now we know. That we have to change the property, which property? Value property. So I say dot v a l u e value is equals to say I write inverted commas. Hello, fine. So it will do four offset. First will be e f g h. So it should go into h one. Let's see what happens. I say run, and I am clicking the run button. Let's move into Excel. So it is run into H. Fine. So if you want to write into I and J, you have to do six offsets. Let's try it again. I'll go again into Visual Basic, and this time I say zero comma six, and this time I say hi. Now remember one thing. We have done. We have written hello earlier. Now we are writing hi. So hello will never be get deleted automatically because it is a brainless machine. Computer doesn't know that we have to delete hello also. So hello will be there only, and we'll write hi. And suppose if we write the same program uh, in the same cell, it will done overwriting, overwriting. So let's run. So see, here comes hi. So now this is, this was one offset, two offset, three offset, four offset, five offset, six offset in terms of columns. Fine. So see, you know, now you want to write in this column. Let I'll do it yellow to make you understand. Fine. So we need to tell me how many row offsets we have to do. What you can do is you can pause this video and write in the comment. So that will. Help you understand how it's working. Let me also start now. So I'm waiting 20 seconds that you can write the comment. Fine. Hmm. Look. In terms of row, I have to do one, two, three, four offsets. In terms of column, I have to do one, two offset. So it will be four comma two. Let's do the programming. I'll write in the next line. See. Range bracket open. D1 is my 
starting one d1 dot offset four comma two right four comma two dot value is equals to hello let me run this program and now see our output here comes hello fine so this is how the offset works now remember one thing in terms of right it was one this was zero if you want to write in d1 only there will be zero offset and zero row offset zero column offset now if you want to move left direction it will be what it will be zero in the row but column will be minus 1 so like you can move like this also fine zero comma minus 1 you cannot go if the starting cell had been this one you can say say 0 comma 0 so this will be what minus 1 comma 0 because no it's not cannot write like this escape hmm so this will be what minus 1 comma 0 this will be minus 2 comma 0 this will be minus 3 comma 0 and if you talk about like this 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 cell will be minus one in the row and one in the column. So this will be what minus one comma one. Fine. Hope you are able to understand. Now again you have to do the same exercise of offset one, which we did for cells. So what you need to do is you have to start with this J one, which is J ten, and there are yellow marks. we have to fill everything with a your name so le right i'll write a code one for you look now i have changed the sheet we are always giving the answers in the active sheet right so for this j10 what will be the value range j10 j10 dot offset 0 comma 0 dot value is equals to sorop and for this it will be what range j10 dot offset now look it is not about writing you should understand with my voice also i am saying j10 dot offset 0 comma 3 so it means the same row but three offset fine so you need to make sure that you do this exercise complete j10 you have to fill all these codes by writing how many codes there are total nine codes so you have to write nine lines of code into your program and when you will run that program these all yellows will be filled fine and when you have done you have to come in the video tutorial and write in the comment yes i have done the offset exercise it is important because these are the building frameworks and when when you are able to write a b c you are able to make words so these are some small lines then we'll move the entire data will walk through entire data with this help of this offset and cells property so these are the various fundamental blocks fine so now important thing is if you recall what was cells and what is offset we were able to do everything with cells same way we did in offset so what is the difference i am just giving you a recap you can check it out see this is cells this is offset fine see this is my starting point i have filled it this is my starting point for offset so for cells this is called 1 comma 1 and this is called 0 comma 0 fine this is called 2 comma 1 because there is no change in the column but row has changed and this is called 1 comma 0 so there will be a difference like this will be 3 comma 1 this will be 4 comma 1 now this will be what 2 comma 0 3 comma 0 so here we are talking about like this is 1 2 3 4 and this starts so 
there will be a difference of one value in sell and offset and both are like almost same things and you can do the things but you should know when to start sell offset or this because look when you refer with h2 and you have to write over here either you sell or offset what if you use 0 comma 0 it will place in the same cell in the offset one and if you use 1 comma 1 in the cells it will place in the same cell so this is very easy do not just you have to do that exercise and you will be able to walk through fine so that was the difference between a cells and offset property so i believe at the end of this tutorial you all know the difference between cells and offset fine this we have done so now now the thing starts in the next tutorial i will tell you how to record a macros and what happens with recording macro is that you can do some task and macro will record for you the code you repeat the code and the task will done again this is one thing of recording a macro second point is that if you don't know the what is the property and method of any specific task you record a macro and when the code is done you can check in the code what was the actual property or what was the method so recording is done for two things either for doing some task which has to be done again and again writing a code and second is to identify which is the property that we can use in the code so you cannot remember all properties and methods like dot value was a property fine and after recording macros and couple of tutorials we will start working on our programming fundamentals now programming fundamentals means variables loops conditional logics and with the help of loops we will be able to move in one to thousands of cells and we will be able to perform a single operation into thousand cells so that will be fantastic learning that will replicate and it will make your will give you powers to fly in the system fine so make sure if you are the new one into this video tutorial please watch one to four videos i assure you in next one one and a half month you will be able to write big programs okay and i have a very special request we have a channel name which is called business intelligence and analytics on youtube please subscribe to this channel because if you will not subscribe right now you might be watching videos on facebook also if you will subscribe the auto notification will go then i do not have to write a send an email to everyone that the new video tutorial has come as soon as it is uploaded you will get the notification it will start based on your time fine so please be with me so we are doing parallel things parallel we are learning excel also and we are learning bba also and when these two things come up we will come up with power bi that will be another very interesting thing so meet you in next tutorial thank you very much and yes one important thing do sign up on bi-analytics.org and join the club bb excel programming because from there you will be able to download the practice template file and get ready to write macros you should learn programming this is our task okay thank you very much